Hi, I'm Councilmember Dennis Shingleton. The Fort Worth Botanic Garden was the first in Texas. That's a point of pride, but it is also a liability. Our Botanic Garden is still beautiful, but it's also showing its age. In the heart of our city, the Fort Worth Botanic Garden is a beautiful escape from the ordinary. More than 100 acres of meandering paths, water features, and structures showcase a vast collection of plants that allow us to unplug, enjoy, and learn from a series of garden rooms. Among them, the Rose Garden, with scores of rose varieties in a terraced romantic setting. The Japanese Garden, where paths through lush terrain lead to koi fish ponds. The Fuller Garden, featuring beds of annuals and perennials and a stately gazebo. In the Four Seasons Garden, something is always in bloom. And Rock Springs, where a waterfall supplies rippling water among native trees and plants. The Fort Worth Botanic Garden also has areas that teach us about vegetable gardening, water conservation, and native Texas plants. But many other areas of the garden are at risk and can no longer be enjoyed. The Fragrance Garden, once a delight for the visually impaired and others, had to be closed, then dismantled, because there are no funds for costly repairs. The Japanese Garden's popular moon bridge is structurally unsound and will remain closed until funds are raised to repair it. The Rainforest Conservatory, a 10,000 square foot greenhouse, was once home to more than 700 species of plants. But today, many of the tropical plants have withered and no longer produce exotic blooms. The conservatory's glass roof is unsafe for visitors and gardeners. It must remain closed until funds are available for repairs. Many more funding issues prevent the Botanic Garden from looking its best. Water features need repairs, including this pool in the Rose Garden. Original restrooms can no longer accommodate crowds, are outdated, and show signs of vandalism. Garden roads need repaving, greenhouses and other work areas need replacing. In all, the city has identified $15 million worth of major repairs that need addressing, just to fix what we have now. But what if? What if the Fort Worth Botanic Garden had adequate funding like other U.S. botanic gardens, a steady revenue stream and donor support to provide funding now and in the future? Perhaps we could once again host major exhibits like Butterflies in the Garden, or new garden exhibits, festivals, and visiting sculpture shows. Adequate funding could provide cultural and education programs, hands-on science classes for underserved youth, or research that leads to new plant introductions. Long-term revenue sources might one day make getting around the garden safer and more fun. The Fort Worth Botanic Garden is in transition. Strategic planning is underway now, not just to repair what's broken today, but to provide a blueprint for the future that allows us to maintain what we love about our garden and build on its potential. I believe the Fort Worth Botanic Garden has a lot of potential, but it won't get there without funding. The city of Fort Worth will continue its support, but it's not enough. We've put together a task force that's looking into our funding options and learning how other successful gardens operate. The bottom line is, we want our Botanic Garden to be able to host more community-wide events, be more accessible to all, and most importantly, be there for future generations. We welcome your ideas and input. Thank you, and come visit our Botanic Garden.